Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to the second episode of our Leagues Reloaded, Trailblazer League Reloaded, however you want to call it. In the last episode, we managed to unlock our fourth relic. And with our fourth relic, we decided to go with Archer's Embrace. So at this point, we are fully committed into going all out on range. We're talking full Mazori. We're talking next for the Zerite crossbow. We're going Vorkaf for the assembler all out on the range. And this video is going to be all about showcasing what this little Torgishan crossbow with these very questionable robes can do in this temporary game mode, right? So we're starting on 34 ranged and I don't know where we're gonna end on the end of the video, but let's get doing some fun stuff and probably a lot more tasks as well. Caught 50 swordfish and I know this is not me using the weapon, so just for a little bit of fun. I I'm just gonna go shoot some things, okay? Nothing too crazy. We're just gonna quickly test it out, uh, but I do want to speedrun these 31 tasks in order to unlock Asgarnia, so we can then move on to, let's say, bigger and better things. But first, let me test this out. So we got this guy right here. Oh my, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, look at it go, you can't even see it. Oh my goodness. Wait, that was the double hit as well. Wait, I need to kill this guy real quick. I'm gonna kill a few of these. Just gonna speedrun level 40 combat, so I can then go ahead and uh, grab my first Slayer task. Look at it go, bro, it's shooting! Boom! 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 I love it, man. I don't know why, but I fucking love it. Yo, I just got a Tazar Ket Om from a drop, bro. Hey, you already know. Just got it off a drop first kill. You take those. Alright, apparently I don't need to be level 40 combat to take task from Vanaka. But anyways, we got that done. Bought a enchanted gem. Checked it for more tasks. So we're basically getting there. We got some Minotaurs. Should be nice and fast. And the reason why I'm just doing that now is because we're low level anyways. We're not really getting a bunch of XP. I need tasks. So I, it just makes the most sense to do right now. I turned the recorder on. I stopped hitting. But look how stupid this is. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I stole your Minotaur. It was actually unintended. There we go. There's a Slayer task. Lovely. I don't think I need to take another one from Vanaka, so we'll figure out what's next step. I can also grab a Slayer task from Duradel right here. Calphites. Okay, that's actually pretty solid this early on. And I can also look at his this to grab some Harpy Bug Lantern for later. And then there was a spinny helmet as well, which I think I had to buy and wear. There we go. Yeah, that's an easy one. So the first goal, obviously, is to get to 50 uh, range and 40 defense. So we can go ahead and trade this guy and buy ourselves one of these, one of those, and one of these. Wear all of that. I don't know if that's any tasks, but I can also go to the Oziak and get the body as well. And as soon as I'm 40, then I just... Strictly train range is what I'm thinking at the moment. We got a bunch of levels, but most importantly, 34 Slayer. I can quickly wield this. That is 40 points, apparently. I can also now drop it because I don't think I'll be needing that thing anytime soon. How's our point situation looking? 23 tasks until the next area. I'm not really too much in the rush to get it, but I guess I will... I'll slowly start working on it. But I will finish this task first. There's a little 40 defense. We can now wear green dragon hide body. That's a task. And we can now just full rapid it. All the way till like 50 for hours accumulator and then basically 99 after. So I think I'm just gonna wrap it all the way. And then once I'm like getting close to 99, I'll consider training more defense maybe. Slayer task is done and we got a few completions in the process such as reaching level 50 combat. I have a few easy clue scrolls. I just want to complete one real quick. South of Varrock Palace. Let's see if we can start getting better at this. Teleport, tool, Varrock. We're working on it. I got a studded body. EI. It's fine. Never doing it again. Exciting leagues gameplay right here. Million boys versus one mine. It's gonna be a bunch of points. I don't know about the XP, but... Wait, 80 points by literally just touching the mine. We take those. Do I mine it all the way? I feel like I mine it all the way. We are entering a bit later stages of the night, so we are gonna go a bit quieter. But there is a greater foe, and I think that gives some points as well. We're also gonna try to kill the red dragon and we're gonna try to kill the fire giant and just everything. See if we get any more points. But that's another task and I will attempt to kill a red dragon as well. See if I can do it without prayer. But it looks like this was really easy to kill. That was 40 points and I think burying one of those. Also more points. Nice and easy. Hey, there we go. And we get... 
it doesn't really matter. We got the task, we get some steel bars, and we get away from here. Okay, so this is my plan to train early game smithing. Come over here to Shanty, very cheap bronze bars, make it and keep buying and keep noting. I don't know how much I'll need, but this seems like a great way to get early smithing out of the way. Alright, there we go. Sheep shear also completed. And I forgot something in Varok, so let's go ahead and uh, smelt a few more things. Nice, we take those easy tasks so close to the next area. And we will now go and do the Giants Foundry quest. I hate this minigame, and to think I have to do this 100 times, it's like... Oof. But there it is. Wait, that was so much XP, what? We're 43 smithing out of nowhere. Alright, we take those, thank you. Appreciate it. Pleasure doing business. Okay, let's see how fast this guy dies. <laughs> he didn't make it. Bonk. Oof. From 1 to 40 attack. We take those. Wait, that's actually really good. Let's see if there's any easy attack tasks that I can do. And we only have 6 left till the next area. Okay, so Adaman Sword. That's for later. We equip it. Boom. Bam, just like that, we can now unlock another area. Now, you may be wondering what area are you going to take. And if you paid attention on the first video, you will know I'm going for Desert. I'm going for Asgarnia. And then I'm going to go for either Fremenic or Karend. We'll decide that one on the last one. But however, Asgarnia, here we come. So if you're wondering why Asgarnia, let me quickly explain to you what this area has to offer. All right, we have ourselves quite a lot of new stuff. Crafting guild. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Like, we got Falador rooftop, a rooftop agility course. We got tree patch. Wow. Nah, but uh, seriously, we're doing it for the Black Dragons, Blue Dragons, Cerberus, uh, and then the entirety of the God Wars dungeon. That's the main one. Unlocks. But also, there's some very nice tasks here that I absolutely want to do. So, Asgarnia, second area. Let's go ahead and confirm the unlock. And let's go straight into trying to hunt for the next relic, which is going to be huge for the account. I'm not going to spoil what I'm taking, but if you're watching the stream, you already know. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get 1,250 points. First off, get 6 blue dehydes, so I can then upgrade my range gear as soon as I'm level 60 range. And then we're going to go for a bit of a longer one, which is to kill 30 black dragons. That's going to take... Quite a while with my current stats, but it should give us a decent amount of points as well. Okay, so I now reached level 60 ranged, which, I mean, it's already too late because I should have done Bloody Hide at 50. But I guess now it is time for me to get my crafting up to 71 so I can make some Bloody Hide set instead of the Green Dehyde Hide set. 71 crafting, now we can make Blue Dragon Hide Arbor. Let's upgrade this scuffed looking gear and look a little bit better. It's pretty late, so I'm keeping it on the low. I've just been killing blue dragons for most of my evening. We finally got a Guam, which uh, is a task, funnily enough. And I got a Ruby as well, which I can make something cool out of. And I've been burying just about every single bone. And we're almost at 43 prayer, which is my goal. After that, I start saving them. And as you can see, almost 60 blue dragon hides. I think I need around 20 more to be done with this. So also 65 ranged already by simply just shooting dragons. So pretty chill, pretty good. I like it. If my calculations are not wrong, I have enough blue dragon hide to finish off the task that I've been working towards. Also basically got all the way to just about 45 prayer in the process. So that was pretty good. And now the most fun thing, I can do this and then do this and then do this. Oh, it's so satisfying. I'm so happy I took this. It is just so cool. I like it. Oh, man. I don't know. It's so sick. All right. Let's craft all of this and uh, see if that's all we needed. There it is. Craft 30 blue dehyde bodies. It's a big task. And now I'm going to go do Prince Ali rescue. That's Prince Ali completed, and I can now do the juices, I think. So let's give that a shot. Oh boy, let's not talk about how long this actually took, because I don't want to I don't wanna mention it. Uh, but I did two rooms, so I did winter and I did spring, and I'm going to do autumn and summer uh, later on, I think, when there is like a lot more people running. Mining 50 iron ore using the fossil island area. Very cool. There we go. Killing six cows in 10 seconds. That's six chickens in three seconds. I'm now going to make a sapphire amulet unfinished. And now we can add this. And now we can finish the clue. I don't want to do too many clues right now because I plan on taking the clue relic. But I am okay doing one of each. So here's the medium. 
which is very easy to tasks because we also got a unique, nice and easy, Demon Slayer, 40 points. Got quickly six herb, so now I can do tiers of gothics and actually get to runecrafting XP, which is a huge part of what I actually want to do next. 6,000 runecrafting XP. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, banker's note, watch this. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. And now I should be able to do Guardians of the Rift. Okay, nothing too crazy, but I got a small pouch. I got a fire talisman. I think that's a couple of tasks. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Finally found the large pouch, which I do believe is a task. There we go. Very good. Well, this is actually huge. I got nature talisman, which is one in 128 drop from here. And it's basically what I needed alongside the next uh, and the last pouch. So with all of these talismans, I will actually be able to probably get all of these points needed to unlock the next relic. And that's it. We now obtained absolutely everything I needed. Giant pouch also unlocked. There is combination rune, lava rune. That is crafting fire rune. Craft four runes with one essence. That's 50 water runes as well. And there is... 200 runes crafted and now there's one more I can do that is 50 nature runes crafted as well okay I think this is all the rune crafting tasks we can do at the moment so that's the last one craft a body rune I'm kind of tempted to do a little bit more rune crafting but look we are 40 points we are so close we need to move on and do oh I know exactly what I'm gonna do for this that was much faster than I anticipated and just like that, we grinded through the night in order to build this stash unit and store our medium clue stuff inside. And would you look at that? We can now unlock the fifth relic. This is a good one. This is a good one. Now, with my combo, with my endless harvest combo, going infernal gathering would be absolutely insane. I've done that in the past leagues. It's been phenomenal. However, there is this treasure seeking. My personal absolute favorite way to play the game is by doing clue scrolls and I cannot skip on this. I simply can't. Will I lose some XP because of it? Yes. Will we get a bunch of content out of it? Also, yes. As you can see, there is a small chance you get an additional casket to be upgraded to a tier above the one you opened. There's also a chance when you open a casket that you will receive another casket. And there's also, you will always get maximum amount of rolls. So it's, it's, it's really, it's really good, basically. Bloodthirsty, obviously a Slayer Relic, higher chance for superiors, but you can't really pick tasks, so not really something I am really even considering, to be honest. And then Infernal Gathering, super good with the relics that I already took. Everything gets automatically smelted into bar and everything gets automatically cooked and everything gets automatically burnt as well. So super useful. But again, Treasure Seeker is my choice. Let's go ahead and select it. And now that we have Treasure Seeker, it is time. To start doing some clue scrolls and I'm looking forward to it. Hey, how does this work? Can I get a medium clue from this? I get a first unique and I have one more. And okay, that is like kind of cool. I like it. 15k coins, 14, 14. We take it. Wait, I got another one. Double unique. I decided to go and do my black dragon task where I pretty much have to kill 30 of these and right now we've killed 10. So we're one third of the way there. And after that, we're gonna check if we can do some of these elites. Here's a big level 70 range. We can now wear black dehyde. I plan on getting that from clues, not even from crafting. So we're just gonna keep going for now. Actually, I think I will attempt to do this elite clue to see if I get maybe some range upgrades from that elite clue. Dude, Cam the Camel, three steps in, this one's fourth. If I do one more, we've actually completed our first elite. Please. Doable. Well, it's like super late, but here we go. Elite casket number one. This could be huge. This is so disaster. Okay, purple sweets are good. Maybe I can enchant vest. And this is good as well. This is a task and this is a task. So it's not too bad. 
Looks like we found an uncompletable elite clue for us. Since we cannot enter the Kandarin, we cannot make a bucket of wax. As you can see, I need to make a sled, which I can't. That took so long, 30 dragons and we get 40 points out of it. However, two heart clue scrolls. Let's see if we get something good. Wait a second, that was a one step heart clue. What? Oh, it's beautiful. Black Dehyde body, that's a huge upgrade. Zami shield, white cavalier as well. That is good. Okay, so I've been doing a bit of soul wars, but I don't know how many points I can actually use. However, I'm pretty sure that the XP you can get is a bit ridiculous. So if I just use all of my tokens on the prayer right now, let's see how much we get. 2.7 million. Wait a second, I just got 2.7 million XP in prayer. What? Can I do more? How much was that? Yeah, it used all of them. Can I use more? I don't know, but this is a bit broken, no? Here we have Smite now. Well, that's gonna be useful for when we unlock the next prayer book. We made an emerald ring, made a ruby amulet, used the herring on a tree, made Elsie tell us a story, then we made some steel bolts, then we chopped a log from a potato tree, and now we are shooting a wall beast real quick. And just like that, we have less than 100 tasks to go until we unlock the next area, the last area, and a bunch of points for the next relic. So this is going to be quite a grind. Boom, full adamant. Okay, well, that's one out of 50. We're going to have to do a lot of these 40 points. Luckily, all my farming is just from picking all of these up. But yeah, we'll need a lot of those. Can I know them? I can't. Okay, I'll have to bank at some point. You know, they say the sooner I get this grind over, the better, but god damn. So I have 12 in my bank, we got this many, I need 75 of these in total. Like whoever thought this was a good task, I don't know bro, but anyways, it's gonna get us high thieving once it's done, and then with high thieving we can then unlock a bunch of other things such as just going through the pyramid plunder rooms and everything that comes with it, so it has to be done, but it is absolutely horrendous, man, I've been running. Oh, dude, around this fucking garden for I don't even know how long. It's been the whole day. Completing these random events to get these lamps is actually really decent XP, especially with all the multipliers. Now, I have two places where I put them at the moment, either Herblor or Attack. If I get Attack to 60, I can then just AFK it on the crabs all the way to I don't know how much strength, for example. But if I put it on Herblor, I can try to get an Irrit potion as fast as possible that I can then clean it and have it in my inventory in case I get a Dr. Jekyll random, which I can then get an agility potion out of which will then make it so I can do Taibo Wanai quest because otherwise I cannot get an agility potion, which is absolutely horrible. So because of that, I do believe for an Irid potion, we are going to need a decently high herb level, 40 herbs. So let's just go ahead and put all the lamps in herb till we reach that milestone. So as you can see, that was a lot of XP with up to 18. And obviously I could manually train this or I could do all the other stuff and passively train it. As you can see, another inventory almost completed. I hope this thing ends soon. We're all the way up to 40 farming, never even touching the skill, simply by just picking the fruits in this garden. There is no way I spent this long getting these squirk juices and I only have 15 and I need 10 more, therefore I need 30, 30 more of the... Bruh. I'm gonna get 80 points for this. <laughs> ah, it's not worth it, man. It's really not. I will, I have to commit. I'm, st I'm too deep in this. I have to finish. If my calculations were correct, all of the hours led to this moment where we have the beer glass, we have this, and we are finalizing the last few of these. Oh my goodness, I think we've done it. Would you look at that, 25? Autumn Squirk Juice. Yeah, this took a long ass time. I just hope this is the right one. Imagine I did all of that, like all these hours. It, yeah, it is the right one for sure. I kind of want to do it all in one go though. We have to do all in one go, otherwise what are we even doing? All right, here we go, here we go. So we're starting off on 52 thieving and this better be like a crazy XP drop by the way. Come on, let's see it. 705,000. We're up to 71. Is that good? I don't even know, bro. It seems decent. I'll take it. I still need to do summer, but hey, 71, I could do quite a lot of pyramid plunder rooms. 
uh, which should give me decent points as well. Uh, but before I do that, I think I still have a clue scroll in my bank. I do, and for that one, I actually can do it. In order to speak to Evil Dave in the cellar, all I need to do is complete Shadow of the Storm. So you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and try to finish this one off. Hope I didn't sell this too fast, but anyways, we got some money. Think I'll buy about 500 more so we can do this whilst questing and then we go do a few quests. Now oh, there we go, completing the golem is nice and easy. 1000 crafting and thieving, that should actually be decent XP, which I missed. It is what it is, uh, but now I think I can do Shadow of the Storm so we can then do our clue scroll. And for that, I need three pieces of black clothing and a silver bar and a silver light. Don't think that should be too hard to get. I wonder if I can one tick it while it's in the air, the damage number, like this. One more. Like that. Yeah, I can do it like that. I can flinch it, basically. Okay, and this is pretty important, right? We can now decide some good XP. Uh, what I'm thinking about is just going attack, getting it to 60, but let's see. Not taking defense and strength, not taking HP magic ranged. Magic could be decent, because we could get up to, like, high alk, but... I think we're just gonna take a tag. This is gonna be by far the slowest to train. So that's gonna get me all the way to 54. That's actually pretty solid. If I can get more rewards to get to 60, that would be phenomenal. Uh, but very decent amount of attack XP there. But most importantly, we should now be able to hopefully complete the clue scroll that we have had in the bank for a bit. So let's see if that will work now. And there it is. It was worth it, bro. Quests, we got points. But most importantly, we're gonna get this absolutely insanely good item right here. It is really good, by the way. It is really good. You may be wondering why these Sara chaps right now are actually so good. Sara chaps are amazing. Basically, I could go and honestly attempt Zilli as soon as I got 70 agility, which I don't have yet. This is used for an elite, but I can't really do it. But Sara, this is amazing. Obviously, two Sara items is whatever. And this room plate skirt is, is alkable, basically. But uh, really nice, actually. And look at an upgrade from basically no pants to Sara pants. And I'll wear this as well, just in case. This as well, maybe it's a thingy. It's not a thingy. But we got a bunch of tasks actually, which is really good. I guess we are now in the process where we're just gonna try speedrunning more tasks. I mean, I guess it has to be done. So that is chopping some logs with a steel axe. Okay, we make a quick waka. The plan right now is to get an irrit leaf. Now you may be wondering why would you need an irrit leaf? Well, it's very simple. If Dr. Jekyll comes, I can trade it in for agility potion, which I absolutely need. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to train my strength a little bit because it's absolutely ridiculously low. I figure if I quickly train it up, I get some base levels, I get some easy tasks, and I'll just do it here on the Chaos Druids whilst also trying to get the Irrit Leaf. But I don't think I'll train it past like level 20. We have everything we need to make a Ruby Amulet, which is gonna help us just a little bit, that Strength Ami right here. I decided I will also go all the way to level 30 Strength. It makes sense, base 30s, and then we go back to range. It's super fast. There it is, the big Irrit Leaf obtained. So I can't clean it, but if I take it to Narda, I should be able to clean it so we can continue on with uh, the rest of the plan. That is 50 Pura Puros, so 150 more to go. We're also up to 55 magic. I can now cast one High Alchemy, which is a nice amount of uh, points. But also, we are up to 6 mediums, 4 easies. Before I end the video, I'm going to open all of these clues and actually, well, try to complete them, of course. And there it is, 80 points for catching 200 Implings. And my favorite part is all these clue scrolls. Let's go ahead and complete the easy and the medium ones. Then this is starting to get pretty full of steps that I can't actually do. There's the purple gloves again. But what I'm interested in is this is on step 2. If I drop it and I open another one, if this is on step 2 still, it is. No problem, actually. As long as my steps don't get removed, I don't mind losing one clue and then just continuing. So you know what? This is... I'm pretty happy with this. I'll be honest. Uh, this is pretty good. As promised, couple of caskets. Now, I don't want to drop this because getting a ruby ring is super simple. I just go to Shiloh and I mine the ruby. However, let me tell you, I just want to open these because I feel like we could get some really good stuff. So because of that, let's clean the inventory. Let's give it a shot and let's hopefully pull something that's gonna be useful for us now what do we need what do we want obviously a ranger boots yeah ranger boots would be phenomenal but let's start off at the beginning with the beginner and we get a steel sword with the cabbage okay very good we move on to easy 
with the Coif and the Gothic Spades, all right? We take it, move on to the next one. Another unique, pretty good. And then we move on to the next one. And we don't get a unique, but we get some Lorons. I don't know how many, but that's pretty nice. And I get an extra bonus. And we get one and two unique. So fill five uh, collection logs, 40 points, really good. And let's just uh, clean the inventory a bit before going to mediums. All right, here we go. So now the good stuff, the medium clue scrolls. Let's take a look. Start off with a unique. Oh, and another man pickaxe, which is pretty good as well. Moving on to another two uniques. That's really good. And firelight. There's 30 collection log slots for 40 points as well. That's very good. Can we get like any sort of boots? I would love to get any sort of boots. IOF can teleport, can't use it. Tybo when I teleport, I can use this one for clue scrolls. And we get a white boater as well, which is and myth plate legs T. So a lot of uniques there. Still got three more. <gasps> nah. There is absolutely no way, by the way. Hey, there is no way, by the way. There is actually no way. Dude, I had a feeling, man. I had a feeling we're gonna end it on literally the best drop in the game for us. I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. Like, we are currently in the process of absolutely gaming. Wow, that's that's crazy. That is... Dude, I'm so happy, man. It was bound to happen at some point, but I didn't expect it to happen on the fifth clue. So, dude, we wear those. Equip ranger boots. Grats, thanks, man. And we still have two more, so how about back-to-back? -back? And a power emmy. Wait, power emmy is actually really good. Cabbage round shield. I don't know about that one, but power emmy is definitely an upgrade from no amulet that we had before. And here we go. We also got Armadil Miter, by the way. Don't sleep on these items, especially if I do want to do some God Wars soon. And we get Adamant Helm H5. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, with probably one of the best drops we could have gotten this early into the game, we are going to be concluding the episode number two of our Trailblazer Reborn. No, Reloaded. That, that's it, that's it. Obviously, if you guys made it this far into the video, Consider subscribing and also consider checking my live stream where I stream every single day as much as possible Dude, I don't know man. I look like a fucking demon. I'm happy man. I'm gonna sleep like a baby